So one thing I've noticed about um, Afri about these African politicians, not just uh, not just Zambian politicians, is that they do not care about the youth. And when I come to Zambian politicians, you see whether it is uh, UCA, it is PF, it is a uh, um, uh, this Dr. Socialist Party, Dr. Fenbembe's party, whether you talk about the UPND, they hardly talk about Ama youths. They hardly talk about Ama youths. All they talk about is themselves. Who is going to make a, a better president? Who is better between who and who? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you know, I'm, I'm one person that follows politics, may it be Zambian politics, uh, Ugandan politics. I do follow politics from across Africa. And uh, what, one thing I've noticed is that most of our leaders... They like to paint us, the youths, like um, we are lazy and we are unproductive. And I th I believe that is not true. Uh, specifically, if I was to speak for Zambian youths, Zambian youths are one of the most hardworking youths we have on the continent. But it is our own governments that are killing us. I didn't want to talk about this. Like, I, you know, I was, I, okay, let me just say I was hesitant to talk about this until I came across the video of Mr. Fontini, yeah, they call him Mr. Fontini, he talked about this. Maybe let's check his clip out, then after that, um, I'll express my own opinion on this same issue. You see, when you look at the way the Zambian youth is hard working, it's very clear. There has been propaganda. But when you go on the street, it's very clear. Wala wasanga wa rumendo wa lishi chama chaja, wa lishi chama plastiki, wa lima buthi, wa lima pasa la hula. You can clearly see, uguti that the willingness to work is there. Nga, nga wangufa kulivaka and show yo kuhuse dara e wa likuli inchi. When you look at the numbers of the youth that show up for those opportunities, it clearly shows you. Uguti romwina Zambia alifu kuhomba. That is not the case kufialo fimbi. Kwa liwe fialo fimbi fia kwa tubu teko wole shito kulomba. Yo, kuli imwe ise ni mubombe. People don't want to work there. But when you look at the spirit of a Zambian youth, you can clearly see. Yo fishu pa fie. But ya wamu Zambia na dite mwoku liya kama futa. Ala wombesha. When a government has got such kind of people, it's very important to take advantage of that spirit. Because you see, Muku Womba, Emu Fumaba development. When the own people of the country have got the spirit and the willingness to work, you need to capitalize on that. But you say, I have a capital to know, I'm five pin a month. You need to provide the incentives to promote such kind of small businesses. We need to grow more young fellows. Young fellows who want to be told there is potential in the hard working and the spirit of these youths that we can see on the streets. The question is who is getting the empowerment? Hmm? When you look on the street today, it's very clear. Our men do very well, Bisha. Number one is your tax. Umuntu atira yo ngwete feka pitu five pin inde chita importi mbitu machaja tu mone mo chinga bela. Umumu inemu sumemo wa customs. Umumu inemu chite shua. <laughs> Bati wa mwisa wa invest at yo kuri tax holiday. Ifo itakwa bati nipa chiverushi, nipa national day of prayer, oro nipa Christmas awe shua. Nipa kafia wonke. There is an agent need to be serious. This country will not be built by Wamuisa. This country will be built by the hands of a Zambian. There is an agent need to be serious. We have made a lot of requests for our those in authority to try and give us incentives as youth to be able to survive on this street here. Now we are no longer making requests. This is a demand. You see, when you look at the hard working nature of our youth here, wala mwana bali pangu tunuani, wala mwana bali muma baba shop, wala mwana, they are doing whatever they can. Kufi alo fimbi, you need to grow and cultivate those young entrepreneurs. They are the future, they are the partners of government. They help government create opportunity. Those will be the next young fellows. No mboko ya mkushita register company kupakra, it's going to cost you at least plus or minus. 
somewhere between one four to register a limited company right? from there why are you over council uh, you need the business levy that's uh, over one one thousand seven hundred we could bank you away. You company mule for a recommendation. What kind of country is this? You have a worker's compensation. Now, by the time you are done registering, you can clearly see how unserious we are in this country. You need more than 10 pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Makwi. So you say, if me, we. You see, I could take up to one, one pin. Pass three tap. Yes, we can both have a stack of mobile money. If I can't solve it, you can use a business lives. You can clearly see that the policies are deliberately there to frustrate you. This is why we are no longer making requests. This is a demand. A Zambian youth wants to work. Umu Zambian ni adite mokuri yaka nona. Ala kachuri, ala bomba. You go on the street, you see it for, for yourself. What kind of deliberate measures has those in authority put in place to ensure that we cultivate the talent that we can see on the youth on the street today? So, like I said before, our only government limits us. Now, Mariko Amenti, when it comes to certain things, for example, let's say you just come up now with, a, with a group of your friends, like, you know, uh, you decide to start maybe a construction company. So, continue to make a construction company. For you just to start up a construction company, maybe you've got money into my equipment, but the money that you just need to spend, it's not going to help you in any way. She has a government in that. You will see, around for a certificate, workers' compensation, NAPSA, NCC. Like you need over 30,000 kwacha. Just look at the list of the things, some of the things that you need. Number, if you look at all these things, how do you expect? Rama youth are quite maybe they want to start a, a small company. Like, how do you expect them to even start a, a company in the first place with all these requirements? And then, I'm a foreigners. We look at our foreigners, they've, been, they've got tax holidays, they're practically just doing business free for free. And then you say at the Ama youth, they are not serious, really. Well, first, have you ever seen Ama youth? Nobody soon come out, will borrow. What's the drum? Murusakanga, my Maka Mola, you see, I'm a youth, nobody soon come out, will borrow. Number two, if you come to a British British Chum Street, the British Hassle, even I'm a conductor. Like, don't, don't you see the, 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 the willingness to work, the hustling? I don't remember that Zambia is just uh, 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 lazy, but they mostly they just indulge one of your water. One of the things that even caused the Zambia news to, to start in, indulging in, in alcohol abuse or in drug abuse, one of the reasons also is a lack of employment. Yeah, even when they say, okay, we're not going to depend on the government at Info Irene to Bambi or small business. It is very difficult even for that small business to thrive because, first of all, bad economic situation, uh, my taxes, it's too much. Like, they're just, they, 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 the environment is not just favorable for business anymore. Like, how do you expect my youth number to be pro productive? So, when we've, and, and the other thing I've also noticed is that they, they, these are, the, our leaders, when they talk, each time they come on media, whether you are UCA, you are UPND, mostly when they come and start talking about uh, the situation in the country and they start talking about the and the they are just debating among themselves who, who is going to make an ex, who is going to make a, a better president among themselves. They, now they talk about the youth. So for my youth, <laughs> I think we should start looking out for ourselves. Maybe when it comes to more politics, we should start supporting our own youth also more politics because it's like these. The, the, the old people like they do not understand us it's like the old people they do not care about us it's like the old people all they just see is themselves they, it's like they don't even see the youths it's time when it's time to talk about the youths the only thing they can talk about but they do not address the issues adding anyway so let me know what you think about this video and if you're not subscribed to this channel do me a favor by liking and subscribing